when we watch TV now, we want to interact with people around the world. When we're seeing the Oscars or a sporting event like Indian cricket or uh, a disaster playing out on TV, we want to talk to our friends in the world about it and see what they're saying about the same thing we're seeing on TV. And today we're going to see Beat TV and we're going to understand just how that world is changing. <laughs> Who are you? I'm Yaniv Solnik, I'm the CEO and founder of BTV and I've been developing stuff since I was eight years old so I call myself you know, a street developer, I never went to, to study that uh, and I've been an entrepreneur for the last uh, at least five years doing many startups that are related to TV and technology. How is BTV changing the world of TV? What are you guys working on now? Okay, so BTV is a place for people to interact and socialize about the TV show they're watching currently. Okay, right now we're launching an iPad app and a website, but eventually it will be on many other devices. And what we do, we first we aggregate all the signals that are related to the TV show. So we go to Twitter, to Facebook, public Facebook posts, and so on and we bring everything into the BTV destination. And now, I think that we're doing something that is different from what you see today. So you can look at uh, Miso or Tunerfish or Intunow, and they're checking apps for TV. And, you know, obviously- Mostly I, to say I'm watching American Yeah, Idol. so it's, you know, for me it's a dead end. Although, you know, some of them are trying to create some sort of conversation around that. And uh, you also have Get Glue that they're giving you recommendations, so there is something there, but still, you know, it's very limited, and they're, they're uh, in, in their own world garden. Ah. Yeah, because, you know, people are doing that right now. They're tweeting, and, you know, we saw 4,000 tweets, you know, a second on the Super Bowl finals. So people are doing that. They're also doing that on Facebook, and that's something that no one else uh, has noticed but they're doing that on Facebook as public posts, not just as private posts. Yep. And what we're doing, we're capturing all the existing signals and bringing them to BTV. So when you open BTV, even, the, you know, even though we didn't launch, we're tracking more than 5 million users right now that are tweeting and posting on Facebook. So that's something that we do. Uh, another element that I think uh, makes us different is that we, we take social seriously. Okay, social TV is not just, you know, checking in and saying I'm watching something. It's, it should be a platform that enables you to really socialize with people. And all the applications that I see today, they, they don't give you this extra mile to be able to connect with other people. We enable you to connect and to go to their Facebook and Twitter pages and, you know, from there to take the conversation on and to bring it from Twitter in and then outside back to Twitter or Facebook. So that's something that makes uh, the, the exposure or you know, the, the number of users much higher. Yeah. Are you too early? Because normal, everyday people are like, what? Why would you want to have an app or a mm -hmm. system to talk about TV while mm -hmm. you're sitting on the couch watching TV? So there are two studies that we saw, one from 2009 from Nielsen, uh, and they're saying that more than 57% of the uh, TV viewers are multitasking while watching TV. So, you know, right now I'm using my iPad. I don't use Miso because, or, you know, other applications because I, I don't get anything from that. But, you know, I have my iPad. I go to Wikipedia to see something about the movie that I'm watching. I'm checking, obviously, my emails, going to Facebook. And, you know, our attention span is really small now. It's really uh, limited. Uh, and we can't just do one thing. And even if there's a boring scene on a movie, I just go and check my emails and you know do stuff on my iPad or my iPhone. Yep. So I don't think we're too early. A challenge here is to create an experience that really gives something new and not just you know checking in and you know that's it and getting badges. You know. Yeah. Is this only designed for traditional TV watching on a big screen while you're sitting on the couch with an iPad or a laptop, or are you thinking about how? people are watching streaming shows now. Like I watched a lot of TED videos, for instance, mm -hmm. on my iPad. Are you thinking about moving into the streaming world too, along with the traditional TV world? Yeah, so yeah, we're thinking about you know all these things, but we still believe that 
you know, we are a very small startup now and we need to focus on one thing. And the most important uh, way to, to interact or to watch TV right now is on the big screen. Mm -hmm. So that's, you know, the number one focus. And, you know, obviously Netflix and, you know, using your iPad and later on connected TVs is, you know, definitely in our roadmap. Yeah, I noticed one thing too that a lot of shows, like uh, CSI or or Criminal Minds, I don't. It doesn't matter when I watch it. I, I can watch it now. I can watch it in three days, or I watch it in a week. It, it doesn't matter to me, and it doesn't matter to the social systems that we're watching it together. But some shows like the Oscars or a presidential debate or um, a sporting event. We want to watch now, and we all want to watch together and talk together. Do you treat those two kinds of shows differently, or? So it's not only limited to sports or or you know real time TV. It's also watching you know your favorite TV show and sometimes a movie. You know, yeah. uh, Howard Stern was tweeting uh, while his movie Pri Private Parts was uh, broadcasted on a rerun, and it was a big success. So. Yeah. I see that beyond the, the real-time TV. Can you give me a sense of, and maybe you can show it to me, what, how the app goes beyond just checking in and, mm -hmm. and the social interactions I can have? Can I, can I really do social interactions where I can put a poll up for everybody yeah, so and say, who do you like better in this debate? You know? Yeah, let's test it. So I log in with Facebook, uh, and we will enable also logging in uh, with Twitter Connect uh, yep. later on. But it was important for me to start with Facebook, not only because your friends are there, but also because you have all the uh, movies and shows that you like there. Yep. And we're using this information. So How are you using it? Yeah, so the first thing that we do when you log in, we tell you, okay, so these are your friends that are using BTV already. Yep. Okay, and you can browse through them. Yep. Then, since we're uh, coming from a person personalization background, we're telling you these are your five best friends on Facebook, your BFFs. And we do that by calculating uh, your interaction with these people on Facebook. So, you know, that's also, I think, uh, very convenient because usually these are the people that you would like to interact to, to also, you know, on yep. TV. And I see I yell it. Uh, yeah, yell it is my she's best She's probably going to be one friend. of my best friends, too. Yeah. So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she is. She is a, a good friend. She can party, too. <laughs> <laughs> that's Rocky in the background <laughs> saying she can party. <laughs> I well, you know, is, yeah, she that's why we're good friends. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we see each other everywhere. <laughs> and, and then what we also tell you, we tell you, look, these are some of your favorite TV shows and movies, and we take them from Facebook. Yeah. And that's, you know, we already know you. And immediately we tell you... Now, if I started watching a new show and interacting with people, let's say on Criminal Minds mm -hmm. and it's not listed here, does it send it back out to Facebook and say, hey, that's one of his favorite shows? Okay, so there is a problem with Facebook because they don't expose the like API. And, okay. you know, they're very careful about liking things because yep. it's powerful. So you can do that. But what I will show you is that you can go to the Facebook page from here of Criminal Minds and like it. Okay. And you can also like it on BTV, so our personalization engine will know you better. Okay. So on the get-go, we also tell you these are five users on BTV that are have a similar taste to you. Okay. Okay. Because we already we know what they like, we know what you like, and then you know we create that. That's your first you know new social uh, interaction. Cool. Then you're encouraged to log in with Twitter too, yep. because Twitter is very important for. So it's real real time experience. So you log in and now what you get here is a feed. Yep. And this is the everyone feed. So it shows you all the activity that is going on through the BTV system. And you know, I'll emphasize again that it's not only BTV users, but it's all the people that are tweeting or posting about TV. Uh, now it's bringing in the shows that are going on right now that people are watching? So yeah, shows, talking about? shows that are trending not right now. So they're broadcasted and people are talking about. And also your friends and people that are talking about shows that you like. So I like Dexter, I will get Dexter. And I don't think we have an example here, but it will also show you people that are similar to you. Mm -hmm. and are talking about TV right now. Now what if I want to, if I'm watching Criminal Minds right now because I have it recorded, mm -hmm. 
Can, how do I tell people about Criminal Minds or what okay, am I so watching? Okay, so you can just go here yeah. and you can search for Criminal Minds. But I think that the beauty of this is that you can also say I'm watching, you know, Fox or whatever. Okay. So, but you know, we can try Criminal Minds. Now we're asking you what episode, okay? And we're starting from episodes that were broadcasted, you know, earlier today or this week. But we also give you the option to choose an episode from, you know, all the seasons and episodes that exist. Yeah. And you choose the episode that you're watching. And now you're on the show page. And here you see all the people that are right now watching the show and talking about it on Twitter and Facebook. So you can see them here. I don't think that on Criminal Minds we have VIPs, cast and crew. Oh, yeah, we have. Who is that? Joe Mantegna. Yeah. So I will show you that in a second. But what you say here, you say, I'm watching Criminal Minds. And we have the hashtag already, CMSB. Okay, you will be now on this feed. You can invite your friends. So here are all my Facebook friends. Not all of them are on BTV, but they can still invite them and they will get, you know, will post on their wall and they will get a, a link to go to the website and they don't need to register to see this page. Now that's good. I, I know Rocky watches the Sharks and, and so I can invite him to join in talking about the Sharks game tonight, for instance. Yes. Yeah. Very cool. You can also, what you can also do, and I will show maybe on uh, another example, you, you are able to create a reminder, you know, if the show is broadcasted tonight. And this reminder will both uh, send you a push notification yeah. before the show starts, an email if you want, and you can still invite your friends. And on the feed, we will show them that, you know, Robert will watch Criminal Minds uh, tonight at 8 p.m. Very cool. Yeah. So what you can also do here, this is what I call uh, internally the super keyboard. Okay, so you can write something. And we're giving you here all the uh, Twitter handles and the names of the cast and crew that are important to the show. Yeah, I know Kristen. Mm -hmm. So you can say, uh, yeah, Cri Kristen. Oh, okay, and then you can write something. So yeah, you can say Kristen is, cool. is hot or and whatever. And then, yeah, and you can add, you know, at the uh, I, like Joey. I like geeky girls. <laughs> <laughs> so you have the hashtags here yeah. and the emojis, and you can add your own. So, you know, if you have a different hashtag that you want to put, you can add it and it will be on your super keyboard okay. uh, internal name. Very cool. And uh, now every post that you do here, you can syndicate to Twitter and Facebook, and you know, it will go there and you can take the conversation. People can take the conversation from there. And now I see this guy posted on Criminal Minds. What, yeah, just Bill. What would like, I be able to see about what they posted? Or yeah, so he's saying right now I'm watching Criminal Mind, and then yeah. I can tell him. Um, cool show or something. Yeah, like. yeah, okay. that's cool. Now, even if he's not a BTV user, we have the at reply and follow automatically. So okay. You can opt out, but you know it goes to Twitter. So if someone okay. is just you have a choice now, of that because yeah. I don't want to spam my Twitter. Oh no way, no way, no way. Okay. So, but you know, I think that uh, the nice thing is that it goes to Twitter users that are not using BTV, and you know, you can create conversations there. So here you see there is you know this different box that is a conversation. So I replied to Bill, and if you re reply, I will get it also here with a notification. Got it. So does but it show whether this person is registered on BTV without me going to their profile? So it doesn't show, but I'm not mm -hmm. sure that that's, that means anything. Well, it means something because if they're commenting on it, I know they have your app up and running, and I can comment, chat with them much easier. But you can chat even if they're not on BTV. But I don't want to. I don't want to go to Twitter or Facebook. I want to chat with other oh, people here. who are in the app. Okay. That's it. Yeah. So is there a mm -hmm. way for me to do that? So uh, right now you will just you know see it by you know seeing their name and going to their profile. Okay. And yeah, that's right. something interesting that um, you can do. Cool. How are you guys gonna make money with this? Okay, that's easy. <laughs> <laughs> you know, commercials or you know TV ads are going through a transition. Right now they're attached to a video signal, you know, to the TV show. Yeah. And 
uh, as soon as I see a commercial, I immediately take my iPad, my iPhone, go to Facebook, and I don't really look at the commercial. That's why I believe that commercials will uh, go through a transition where they will try to uh, go to places that are more interactive and personalized. And this is exactly the place where they should go. Okay. The second screen application, you know, so it will not, I'm not saying that we will not see the BMW commercial on NBC, but we will see the BMW commercial and we will see it also here, an extension of this commercial. Got it. And we will see it here only if BMW, you know, if it makes sense to show me BMW because again we have all the personalization engine so that's you know one way to to make money that should be the end game the the, the big money uh, we're also going to make money from promoting shows and movies so if i'm watching if i'm talking about entourage hbo can promote you know a new tv show here it makes sense uh, and then there's also uh, something that you know i call it experimental and that's the contextual marketplace Okay, I'm watching now, you know, let's take sports, that's easy. I'm watching the Celtics and the Lakers, and, you know, I'm a Lakers fan. Why won't we show you, a, you know, a Lakers a t-shirt that yeah. is on sale on eBay? Okay, I'm watching the Sopranos. Why won't we show you the iTunes link to buy, you know, this great song that was on the last episode? Yeah. And more, you know, we have more surprises that I don't think uh, other companies thought about. No, that's really so, cool. How are you guys funded? Yeah, so we're funded, you know, we started three years ago with a different goal, going to B2B, and then, you know, many things happened during these three years. We pivot, pivoted. Uh, back then, we got $8 million from the biggest Italian VC, Inogif, and I was, back then, I was one of the founders and the CTO, and during this transition, again, many things happened in our company. I became the CEO. And Inno just believed so much in this new idea that they put another million and a half dollars just now. Very cool. So, yeah. Well, congrats on that. Thanks. Where do we learn more about it? So you go to b.tv. B.tv. It's B E E. Dot TV. TV. Yeah. Yeah. Not and yep. you, you know you can use the website, download our iPad application, and we will have an iPhone, Android. You know everything is coming. Okay. And are you on Twitter as well? Yeah, so we're uh, at MyBTV. MyBTV, okay. Yeah. And, and are you personally on Twitter? I'm, yeah, I'm Janiv, J-H-A-N-I-V. Very cool. Well, thank you so much for coming out and showing it to me. I'm, thank I'm you looking for forward to using it while I watch TV. Great, thanks. Thanks. thanks.